welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Monday, so it is meal prep day. I have some absolutely fantastic recipes to share with you. Super easy, clean, and delicious recipes. So if you wanna see what I'm making for breakfast, lunch, and an amazing snack, that's a cookie. Stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. For breakfast this week, I'm going to be making some freezer friendly egg sammy. So if you're not going to eat these all within a few days, you can easily toss these into your freezer and you have clean eating, delicious WW friendly breakfast sandwiches ready to go. So let me show you what's in this week's breakfast. First, you're going to need salt and pepper minced garlic, some type of oil. I have avocado oil, you could use olive oil. You'll also need two bell peppers and an onion. English muffins of your choice. I'm going to be using these Ezekiel Enjoy Life English muffins. Eggs, spinach, and lastly, whatever cheese you're going to use on your sandwiches. So let's get started on this week's breakfast. So the first thing we need to do is chop our onion, chop up both of our bell peppers, and then we're going to just chop our spinach into a little bit smaller pieces. So I have a bowl here for the onion, the bell pepper, and the spinach. We wanna keep them all separate. So let's start chopping. You call me a saint, but you know I'm a stranger. A willing and able to do what you want. You think I'm a thinker, but I'm just a singer. Or busy and pretty, just making believe. Oh, I am falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling, I'm falling. So the first thing that we're going to do is add about a teaspoon of oil of your choice to your skillet. We're gonna get that nice and warm and we're gonna add in our onions and start cooking. Once your onions are translucent, we're gonna go ahead and add in this big bowl of our diced up red bell pepper. And then I'm also going to add a pretty good sized scoop of garlic. And we're gonna let this cook down a few more minutes until our red pepper is cooked all the way through. And then the last step is to add in the spinach and give it a chance to wilt. We're ready for some spinach. So we're gonna go ahead and pop in that big bowl of spinach. And then I am going to do just another little sprinkle of salt and then another or a sprinkle of pepper. Now we're just gonna let this cook down until that spinach is completely wilted and then we're ready to put together the egg portion of our breakfast sandwiches. So in a bowl, we're gonna go ahead and crack six eggs and once we get these eggs cracked, we'll whisk them together really lightly and then we'll add in those veggies that we sauteed and we're ready to get our egg bake into the oven for these sandwiches. It's really, really easy and a great way to get in some veggies with your breakfast. Now we're ready to spray our baking dish. I have about a six by nine. The recipe calls for a nine by 11, but I want my eggs to be a bit thicker. So I'm gonna do it in a smaller baking dish. Give it a good spray. I'm just using the Chosen Foods avocado spray. And then into the baking dish, we're gonna go ahead and add the egg mixture. And then this is going to go into the oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes or until the eggs are set. So I just pulled the eggs out of the oven. Don't these look so good, yum. So we're gonna assemble these sandwiches. I'm super excited. This is going to be a great way to get in veggies and just a really hearty, pretty low point breakfast. So I went ahead and cut my Ezekiel English muffins in half. I have my egg bake here. We want this cut into six servings. Yes, six, I had to think for a second. Yep, six servings because we use six eggs. So I'm actually going to have an extra 
serving of the eggs, which is totally fine. Either my husband or myself will eat those as like an added breakfast or part of a breakfast. So go ahead and cut the eggs into the six servings. And then we are going to take one of our muffins and add a slice of our egg bake. So this is just a really easy way to add eggs to a breakfast sandwich is to cook them all together in a pan. And look, you get this nice, perfect egg. And we're just gonna pop that on top of the English muffin. So look at that. I mean, how perfect is that? You got a nice thick egg patty on top of your English muffin. And then from there, sit that down there, we're going to add just a slice of our cheese. And I'm using this Sargento Ultra Thin. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab just one slice of cheese. And we're gonna pop that right on top top it our other part of our English muffin and voila you guys we have a breakfast sandwich chock full of veggies so your options with these are if you're going to freeze them I'd wrap them in foil if you're not going to freeze them which I am not I'm going to eat these throughout the week I'm just going to wrap mine in saran wrap so let's get these put together and then I'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you all the smart points could be making it all up you know So here are our sandwiches. I have five and then each day I'm going to pair those with just some cantaloupe for zero. So let's go over this sandwich. Oh, you guys, I can't tell you how good this looks. So the English muffin that I use, the Ezekiel, is four smart points. The egg is zero because the veggies are zero. The egg is zero. I'm on the blue plan. And the cheese is one smart point. So this is a five smart point breakfast sandwich on the blue plan and the purple plan. Now on the green plan, you would count the egg. So it'd be seven smart points and then zero for the cantaloupe. So my breakfast is five smart points. lunch this week I'm going to be making blue cheese stuffed buffalo meatballs now you can do these in your crock pot but I'm going to just do them on the stove I'm just going to cook them in the sauce that would normally go in the crock pot on the stove and then I'm going to pair that with some roasted potatoes and golden beets so let me show you what's in this week's lunch First, you're going to need some onion powder Parsley, you can also use fresh parsley. Wing sauce, I have the Frank's Red Hot Wings in Buffalo. Minced onion, of course, salt and pepper. Minced garlic. You'll need an egg, a pound of ground turkey or ground chicken, whatever your preference is. This is the 93.7 Organic Ground Turkey. You'll need some blue cheese and breadcrumbs. So I'm just using my normal, the last little bit here of just the simple Mills crackers. And I'm just going to crush a few of those up for the breadcrumbs. And then I'm going to roast up about a pound of the organic red potatoes from Trader Joe's and then these golden beets that I picked up from Fred Meyer. I'll slice those up and we'll roast those up together and that will be the side dish to our meatballs. So let's get started on lunch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my veggies prepped and ready to go into the oven. They're gonna take a while to cook. So I'm gonna chop up my golden beets and then I measured out on my food scale. This is a little over one pound of the baby potatoes. And then I have my baking sheet here with some parchment. I'm gonna go ahead and just chop, throw them on the baking sheet. We'll season these up and get them into the oven. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. My veggies are all cut up. These look so good. So we mainly have the big golden beets, but I threw in some potatoes as well. So we're going to season these up. First, I'm going to do about a tablespoon of avocado oil, maybe a little bit more than a tablespoon. No matter what, I always count my oil. Even if it's not quite a point's worth, I always count it. These veggies are going to be enough for five days. So I'm going to count my veggies as one point to help compensate for the oil. I'm also going to add just some black pepper. I do like to kind of sprinkle pepper over my roasted veggies as well for some added flavor. And then for my seasonings, I'm going to be using 
using the Trader Joe's onion salt and there's where I'm going to get my salt from but I also get that yumminess with some onion as well and then I'm going to use my very favorite clean seasoning and this is Dax this one is the green zest this is my favorite to put on to vegetables it is literally just seasoning so all that's in here is dehydrated onion spices and garlic and lemon peel and that's it i love dax because there's no added salt and all the ingredients are natural no msg if you're interested in dax they do have over 20 different seasonings check out their website my code here on the screen will get you 10 percent off and free shipping so definitely check them out it's just a really great place to go for seasonings that are clean no artificial ingredients so we're going to go ahead and and add some of the Dax green zest as well actually a lot of the Dax green zest over my veggies and then we're ready to pop these in the oven I am going to put these in at 350 normally I roast my veggies at 425 but once we complete our meatballs those also go in at 350 so we're just gonna put it in at 350 so now we're gonna start our meatballs our veggies are in the oven so they're gonna slowly roast in there so I have my one pound of 93 7 ground turkey to that I'm going to add my breadcrumbs which are five of the simple mills crackers crushed up and then we're also going to add one egg because we need our binder for our meatballs and then we are going to add about a tablespoon of the wing sauce. I don't like my food really spicy, so I may actually add a little less overall than the original recipe calls for. And then we're going to add just a good size scoop here of our minced garlic and seasoning so I'm using minced onion in place of chopped onion I again you guys know I don't really like the big chunks of onion in my meatballs or my meatloaf so I always sub out the minced onion I'm also going to add some onion powder it wants about a half of a teaspoon or so of the onion powder and then I'm just using parsley flakes and it's a quarter of a cup of fresh parsley so it's only going to be a couple tablespoons of the dried parsley and last but not least we're going to add in a pinch of salt and we're also going to add in a big pinch of pepper and now we're going to give this a stir and these are our meatballs and there these will be rolled out onto a sheet pan and we'll just pop these in the oven right along with our roasted veggies so I'm ready to do my meatballs. There is my mixture. It smells really good. I went ahead and pulled out a baking sheet, lined it with some parchment paper. I'm going to be using my scoop. This is the medium sized scoop. I buy a three pack of these off of Amazon. Super affordable. I'll link it down below for you guys, but it just makes it really easy for meatballs. So I just go in scoop out the meatball mixture and pop it on my baking sheet. Now they're not perfectly round meatballs when you use the cookie scoop, but it prevents you from having to put your hands in there and you know they're pretty darn close i'll kind of scoop up the meat to make it as round as possible but i'm going to go ahead and scoop out my meatballs it doesn't really matter how many meatballs i get we're just going to divide the number that we have by the servings and then the smart points will remain the same so we're going to go ahead and scoop out our meatballs once they get scooped out you're going to go ahead and measure out two ounces of blue cheese which is what i have here i just used my food scale and we want to add the blue cheese to our our meatballs so we are actually going to have to dig in with our hands so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my meatball and I'm going to throw just a little bit of blue cheese in the middle and then I'm gonna kind of reform my meatball so that my blue cheese is stuck in the middle so I'm gonna have a blue cheese stuffed meatball this way so there we go so unfortunately we are going to have to dig in with our hands I didn't read the directions all the way through so Anyway, we're going to add in our blue cheese, kind of reform our meatball around the blue cheese, and then we will get these into the oven at 350 degrees right alongside those veggies until they're cooked through. So my meatballs are out of the oven. These look so so good. So I have decided that I'm not going to cook these any further in the sauce. So what I did is I measured out three quarters of a cup of the Frank sauce. I'm just going to pop these in my meal prep container and divide that sauce by five. And then that way when I warm them up, the sauce can kind of start to soak in. But these look so good. So I have my meatballs in my meal prep container. So I have two meatballs per day so what i'm going to do again is i'm just going to add the sauce directly to the meatballs i measured out about three quarters of a cup like the recipe said 
And that way when I do warm these up, then the sauce will kind of soak into the meatballs at that time rather than taking an extra step of cooking them in a pan or in a crock pot. Now, of course, I will link the original recipe on my website. The link to my website is down in the description box. And in the original recipe, they do actually put the meatballs into a crock pot. So since I decided not to do that, I just went ahead and added the sauce. And then when we warm them up, we'll have some yummy buffalo meatballs. So I am going to wait just a couple more minutes for my veggies. We'll get those into the meal prep container. I'll be back to show you my lunch and give you the smart points. Oh my goodness, look at these veggies. These look incredible. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide these out evenly among my five meal prep containers. And that will be my lunch and I'll give you the points. So here is lunch, you guys. This looks so good. I may pair this with a fruit or I may just have this for lunch. It is a little bit more point heavy. So, well not really. I mean normal for me for lunch. So each of the buffalo blue cheese stuffed meatballs are two smart points a piece. So this is four smart points. And then for the veggie and potato mixture, it is three smart points for the potatoes and then one point for the avocado oil that I used. So it's four points as well for the potato and beets. So this lunch is eight smart points, which actually is not bad at all. And that is on the green and the blue plan. If you are following the purple plan, you don't have to count the potatoes. So this would only be five smart points. So not bad at all. And this is a lot of food. That's why I said I'm not sure that I'll even have fruit. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. This looks so good. For a snack this week, I'm making five ingredient power cookies filled with excellent, excellent ingredients. Whole food, healthy food keeps you full and satisfied and gives you that little bit of energy to make it through your day. So let me show you what is in our cookies. First, you're going to need maple syrup, almond flour. You could use another flour like coconut flour, oat flour, but I'm gonna use almond flour coconut oil, Lily's chocolate chips, and sunflower seeds. So those are your five ingredients. And then it is optional to add a pinch of salt, which I always like to kind of bring out the flavor. So let's make some cookies. So to put our cookies together, I have one and a half cups of almond flour. I also have one quarter cup of coconut oil. You don't have to melt it down. We're just gonna put it in at room temp. So if you do stores in the refrigerator, I don't know why you would, but if you do, you wanna make sure your coconut oil is at room temperature when you go to add it for the cookie so that it has a chance to blend in with the almond flour. I have one quarter cup of my raw sunflower seeds, four servings or 360 of the Lily's chocolate chips, and one quarter cup of pure maple syrup. I barely had enough for that quarter cup. So I am out of syrup. And then of course, just a little pinch of salt. So we're gonna stir this all together, get our mix nice and combined, and then we'll be ready to scoop these power cookies out onto a baking sheet. So now we're ready to scoop out some cookies. So I have my small scoop out of that same pack from Amazon. I will link these down below. I want my cookies to be fairly small to save on points. So with these cookies, they do not flatten when you bake them. So you do wanna scoop it out and then flatten it into an actual cookie shape before we put it into the oven. Otherwise, we're gonna have just a ball when we pull them out. So go ahead and just flatten them into the cookie shape you want. These look so good. So I'm gonna go ahead and scoop these out. My goal is to get about 20 of our cookies. Baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. Alrighty, so I ended up with 14 cookies. So mine are gonna be one point more than I originally had planned. So if you can get 20 cookies, they will lower the points by one. So these are actually gonna be a little more point heavy, but they're such good ingredients and filling and satisfying. And hello, it's a cookie. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes until they're golden brown and cooked through. All right, I just pulled out my cookies. These smell and look so good. These are nice big cookie. So I'm going to let these cool and then we'll pop them off the cookie sheet here and I'll be back to share the smart points value for all three plans. All right. So here are our five ingredient power cookies. I did try a little piece of one. Oh my gosh. These are delicious. They taste like a chocolate chip cookie 
but really hearty with the sunflower seeds. Really, really delicious. So because I got only 14 cookies, mine are five smart points a piece, which you guys, that is not bad because you're getting healthy oil, chocolate, nuts, almond flour, and maple syrup. If you were able to get 20 cookies, which they'd be just a little bit smaller, they're only four smart points a piece, and that is on all plans. But you guys, these look amazing. I can't wait to eat these. I am planning on taking having on hand for snacks for the week so first I have my little individual bags of the Siete grain-free tortilla chips in line you guys these tortilla chips are so good they are paleo they are vegan look at these ingredients the ingredients in these chips are stellar like best in class ingredients best in class and the bag of the chips is four smart points and then i like to pair that with one point worth of the siete cashew queso you can have two tablespoons for one point and that is the perfect amount just to go ahead and dip my tortilla chips in i did buy the queso at my local health food store and i did find these individual bags of chips at fred meyer which is also a kroger store also i've been liking having a protein shake available too especially if i'm out and about or working out in my yard or before I do jazzercise. So I really like these grass-fed iconic protein shakes. This is the one in Cafe Latte. I like this one because it has caffeine in it. So it gives me that little bit of energy boost, especially before a good workout. It is non-GMO, gluten-free, cruelty-free, lactose-free. And you guys, if you want a protein shake with good ingredients, not like the ones from Premier. Sorry, Premier. Iconic is the way to go. Now, there is natural flavors in these, which is literally the one ingredient that I don't love, but it does have really good oils, really good ingredients other than that, and it is two smart points per container, and it's going to pack 20 grams of protein, three sugar, and 130 calories. I really like the Cafe Latte. You can even add this to a couple shots of espresso and get that little extra caffeine, a little extra coffee taste, but this is one of my favorites. Iconic does have several kinds of protein shakes vanilla chocolate there's a matcha then of course the cafe latte i do have 10 percent off for iconic i'll put that here on the screen and it is down in the description box so check it out and then of course built bars so i've been getting a lot of questions on how many points are the built bars on this plan and that plan the built bars are the same number of smart points on all three plans and the built bars range from three to four depending on the kind of built bar so for example the peanut butter built bar and the peanut butter brownie built bar are nut based so these actually are four smart points a piece but look at the protein 20 grams seven fiber and seven fat so it keeps you nice and full both of these flavors are delicious try warming these up for a couple seconds and it's literally like an ooey gooey brownie so good and then your other built bars your non nut based with the exception of the coconut almond which is legit a almond joy are three smart points i really like this chocolate cherry i love the coconut almond all your og flavored built bars are three points so just rule of thumb nut based are four og or non nut based are three so it just depends on the built bar i choose for the day the number of points that I'm going to spend. Also, Built Bar does have $10 off your first order if you are a new Built Bar customer or if you have a second email you can use to be a new customer, you can get $10 off your first order. Highly recommend the mix box so that you have a chance to try all the different flavors. And if you're an existing Built Bar customer, my code here on the screen gets you 10% off. So you can always reuse my code over and over again and it gives you free shipping. So Built Bars, Iconic Protein, chips and queso. This is some good snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on today's weekly My WW Meal Prep. I do follow a clean approach to the program. As you can see, most of what I eat is clean, whole food. I follow about a 90-10 approach. 90% 90 clean food, 10% some of my favorite foods. Also, I am currently on the blue plan. All of the recipes as well as the points for all three plans will be on my website, and the link to my website is down in the description box below. Also in the description box, you'll find the link and discount codes to my favorite things, as well as the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. If you're 
are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope I shared some really great recipes with you. So make sure you're subscribed. And if you don't mind, hit that little bell just so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't wanna miss a single video. Thumbs up this one if you love meal prep and leave your comments down below. Which of these recipes are you absolutely so excited to try? Definitely go over on my website so you can access these recipes. Check out that description box. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.